Hi, I'm Crash McCreary. Uh, I'm a creature designer at Universal Pictures. And what blows my mind at the Natural History Museum is this guy right here, the Allosaur. He's just, he's the Ferrari of theropods. When I come to the uh, Natural History Museum, the one room I need to visit always is this room here, which I consider the theropod room. And my favorite dinosaur, the Allosaur, lives in here. Uh, it's just, the energy in this room is insane. It makes me feel like I'm in the middle of some drama that's kind of going on that I wish I could have witnessed at a certain time. <laughs> Hi. Are these all spiders in here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I have a really bad case of arachnophobia. Is it a case of arachnophobia? You just have something like that, right? Any phobias you just have? So I have arachnophobia. So I've always avoided spiders like in my design career. And then uh, this movie Relic came about and the monster Kathoga, they wanted like, you know, I want this face to be nightmarish. What's your worst nightmare? And it's like, spiders, <laughs> you know? So, I uh, incorporated a spider head, like an abdomen, and then the legs kind of formed this kind of like weird claws around its mouth, and and I was sweating the entire time I was drawing. <laughs> but that's the only time I've ever used a spider. I mean, literally, I can't even look at a photograph of one. Wow. Yeah, my hands are sweating just thinking about it. So. And to actually check out some of that's the teeth, two Thomas the T-Rex. Yeah. Two hands. You got to hold it from below. I get to hold this. Yeah, if you want a little. Instagram shot. I do, man. That is insane. And the crazy thing is that this is the exposed part here, right? Yeah, so this is the crown. All this is the root that would be up in the jaw of the animal. <laughs> Which is the strength of... Exactly. So yeah. these are, that's why they call T-Rex teeth lethal bananas. <laughs> <laughs> My wife calls me that. So yeah. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, what you've got there, I mean, that's 66 million years old. And if you look at the crown, I mean, it's still pristine. And you still have God, the serrations on the edge, just like a little steak knife. Yes. God, look at that edge. Yeah. And you just got the skull, you know, and you can even see the little eye ring. Yeah. Wow. Same way there's no kind of one type of geologic deformation. Things get squished. Yeah, look at that. Okay. And that's based on the size of the skull here. Yeah, and based, we do right. have some of the other skeletons based on what we know of the relative to this animal. Wow. God, that's so and cool. Behind you, I mean, this is